In this video, I will be ranking every Pokemon Gym Leader theme by Generations. Pokemon OST is amazing in general, and typically the Gym Battle theme is one of the best for each game. Now before I start, there are some criteria I must go over. This list includes remakes, and the remakes count for the generation the theme debuted in. So for example, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, even though those themes use the Gen 4 sound font, it's a Gen 2 game, so it counts towards Generation 2. Also, I will only be counting the themes that are required to beat the game. So no Gen 5 remakes for the Pokemon World Tournament, Generation 1 remakes in games like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, etc. Other than that, it's pretty simple. So, let's dive in. In last place, we have a theme that disappointed me tremendously, and it happens to be the newest theme to the series, Generation 9's rendition of the theme. I had a lot of hopes for this theme, and it ultimately just didn't meet them. This theme was actually what inspired me to make this video. It's not to say that the theme is bad, but considering all the themes that came before it, it just doesn't compete. It's a shame since the Team Star Commander theme is insanely good, and that is also a battle that gives out badges with the new three-story design Scarlet and Violet took. This theme feels way too repetitive and not in a good way. I will say that the final Pokemon theme is pretty good, but that's not enough on its own to carry this gen out of the cellar. Not really much more I need to say about this one. Hopefully Gen 10 will bring us another banger. Now, at number 8, we have a theme that is considerably better, but is technically a gym theme, Generation 7. Gen 7's Kahuna theme is basically the gym theme since it follows the same principle as everything else despite having a rebranding. This theme is pretty good, but it has a pretty similar problem to Gen 9 that I did not mention earlier, and that it is it sounds too friendly to me. Having themes like this makes the battles feel less like they are supposed to be a challenge. It does sound very good, but I don't have the same attachment to this one as the other ones since this is the only generation I have not played. So sorry to all you Gen 7 stands out there. It's a solid track, and I understand if you like this one a lot, but the competition is too stiff for me. So that was actually the end of the script I had for Gen 7, but I feel like I didn't talk about it enough in this section. Um, I actually really do like this track a lot. I feel like I just... I don't know, like, if I put it over the next track, I feel like a lot of people would want to kill me. Like, I feel like all these themes are good. So, like, don't feel bad that this theme is so low on the list, because I still think it is one of the better themes the series has ever seen, so... Sorry if this one's your favorite, but something's gotta be in the spot. At number 7, hot take, Gen 1. Yes, this theme is iconic to the series and is certainly a good song. The problem is that there is nothing about it to me that takes it to the next level. This song is consistently a 6 out of 10 for me throughout. I would love to include the Heart Gold Soul Silver take on this song since it is my favorite, but it does not meet the criteria. I think it is fair this way so each generation can have a similar amount of entries to the list. Remember, this list is just my opinion, and I did not grow up with Gen 1 games like some other Pokemon fans have. But then again, my opinion is objectively correct, so... Suck to suck, I guess. You really can't convince me to put this theme any higher than where I put it on the list, but like I said, I understand if this one is your favorite, just not mine. Now, for number 6, we have Generation 4. The Sinnoh region is just a nostalgic region in general for me, but this theme is not one I think of when I think of 4th gen. The theme definitely feels the most intense on the list so far, just isn't that catchy to me. Doesn't help that I think the Elite Four theme, which is basically the same, is in a cooler tone. I really don't like Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl's take on the song either. In fact, the two takes I like the most aren't even eligible for the list. That being Legends Arceus' take and the Pokemon World Tournament Remaster, which is actually one of my favorites in general. This theme is definitely my favorite that I've discussed so far, just doesn't have enough to take it to the next level, like some of the ones we will be seeing in a bit. Now, number 5, we have the most underrated gym theme in the series, in my opinion. And that theme belongs to Generation 6. This theme gets way too much hate. 
I think the beginning of the song absolutely slaps, and it maintains that intensity throughout. It is a very techno, which I have a soft spot for, and I love the way this one sounds. I think this theme runs circles around the rest I have said so far, and I was so close to putting it at number 4. If only the X and Y gym leaders were a bit harder to really drive this theme home, but that doesn't factor into my consideration. So many people have this theme near the bottom of their list, and I just want whatever they're smoking, man. This theme is one of the best Kalos has to offer. Narrowly edging out Gen 6 for number 4, we have Generation 3. This theme is way too catchy for me to have it any lower than this. This song gets stuck in my head way too easily, man. The Trumpets Galore. If it is one thing Gen 3 did right, it was definitely its OST, and this theme is no exception. I do prefer the original to the remake in Oris, but both themes absolutely slap. I'm out here playing Emerald Kaizo, stressing my ass off in these fights, but I also can't help but bop my head over and over again to this gem of a song. With that said, I wish it was a little bit more intense, which is one thing it does kind of lack, but I don't think anyone is going to argue with me on how high this one is on the list, and I fully expect a ton of people saying it should be higher. I don't blame you, but these last three are on another level. Now, every single entry on this top three was number one at some point on this script, and choosing the order for these last three gens was unbelievably hard. I cannot blame you for putting any of these at the top. With that being said, number three for me is Generation 2. This theme is actually absurd. Great mix of intensity and a good beat. It doesn't matter how easy some of the Gen 2 gym leaders can be, every single battle with this song makes me focus really hard. I think the remake in HeartGold Soul Silver is a lot better than the original, however. I think this song with the Gen 4 South Bond is just the chef's kiss. Fighting Whitney's Mill Tank and Claire's King Trail with the Sun will never not be a good time. Come back to me in a week and this theme might be number one again, but I do think the fact that one rendition is significantly better takes it down the slightest bit for me. But no one can deny this song is a banger. We have now reached the top two. It is really close, really, really close, but coming in at second place is Generation 5. I have listened to this theme so many times, with how many times I replay Gen 5, and this theme never gets old, ever. Gen 5 is just filled with a plethora of amazing battle themes, and this is absolutely no exception. Both versions would easily be in the top three of the list. I do like Black 2, White 2 themes a little bit more with the techno style, but don't let that take away from the original with its great use of the Gen 5 sound thought. Just listen to a comparison of this part of the song between the two versions. Generation 5 was also the first generation to introduce a final Pokemon theme. Both versions of this are amazing as well. I would say both versions are about equal for me. The theme of fighting Clay's Excadrill, Drayden's Haxorus, and I would say Alyssa's Zeb Striker, but you know, fuck those Imagos, am I right? Little thought went into this one being near the top, and it was at the top for a while. Until 2019, that is. Generation 8 has the best gym theme, in my opinion. 
ultimately, the breaking point for me was this. When you think of Gen 2, or Gen 5, you don't necessarily think of their gym themes first. But for Generation 8, this is what people think of. The amount of videos about how good this song was, was just insane. Generation 8 as a whole is easily in the top 3 overall when it comes to OST, but the fact that people always think of this song first is just ridiculous. This song has three different renditions, one where Pokemon are normal, one where your Pokemon is Dynamaxed, and it has a final Pokemon theme which also goes hard. I really never thought a crowd of people cheering would make such a catchy song, but here I am, putting it at number one. I really don't expect the placement of this one to be too controversial. Even if I have never lost a Pokemon to these gym leaders on my playthrough of Sword and Shield, this theme never did not feel intense, and I bop my head every single time. And I mean, every single time. But that concludes the list. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know how you would change this list up. But if you don't have this theme in your top three, you are actually so fucking delusional.